Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are simplifying rational expressions. What is a rational expression? A rational expression is where the both numerator and denominators are polynomials. Example would be this. Simplify 16r squared divided by 16r cubed. How do you simplify this? First, we either simplify by finding the greatest common factor or simplifying by simplifying the exponents. So, 16 divided by 16 16 divided by 16 is 1. It will cancel out. 1 times any number is that same number. And r squared divided by r cubed is r to the 2 minus 3. Go see my properties of exponents video if you need clarifying on what to do for dividing exponents, which is r to the negative first power. So you're going to have r to the negative first power, but we only want positive exponents. So r to the negative first power is the same thing as 1 divided by r. And that is our solution for the first example. I want to give you guys another example. Let's say 2r minus 4 divided by r minus 2. I'm going to give you guys time to solve this one and simplify it. Think about it. Find the greatest common factor in the GCF and then cancel out the rational expressions. All right, we'll see this. Let's see, 2r minus 4 is the same thing as 2 times r minus 2 divided by r minus 2. Look at that, the r minus 2s cancel out. So we're just left with 2 divided by 1. That is our solution, 2 divided by 1. I'm going to give you another one. Let's say x minus 4 divided by 3x squared minus 12x. Simplify this. All right, so we need a factor. We're gonna factor this bottom expression here. The greatest common factor between 3x squared and 12x is 3x. It's the biggest we see here. Divide by 3x times x squared, 3x squared divided by 3x is x. Go see my factoring video if you need help. And negative 12x divided by 3x is minus 4. Look at that x minus 4 divided by 3x times x minus 4. The x minus 4s cancel out. And if there's nothing in the numerator, it's a 1. So we're just left with 1 over 3x. 1 divided by 3x is our solution when you simplify this rational expression.
let's say we have x plus 6 divided by x squared plus 5x minus 6. All right, first we need to factor the denominator. When we do that, two numbers are multiplied to negative 6. That adds to 5. What are they? They are 3 and 2. Well, is it negative 3 and negative 2 or negative 3 or what? Or, just kidding, they are, neg they are negative 6 and 1. Because negative 6 times 1, well, sorry, 6 and negative 1. Because 6 times negative 1 is negative 6, and 6, and 6 plus negative 1 is 5. That's where you get in the new denominator. Now we can cancel out the x plus 6s, and we're just left with 1 divided by x minus 1. And that is our solution for this expression, to simplify it. All right, let's say we have or both of the numerator and denominator or ex polynomial expressions. So we have x squared plus 8x plus 12 divided by x squared plus 3x minus 18. Look at that. All right, let's simplify both numerator and the denominator. So we're going to have x. So, x plus 6 times x plus 2 Divided by two numbers that multiply to negative 18, but add 2, 3, we have negative 6 and 3, or 6 and negative 3. Yes, yeah, 6 and negative 3. Cancel out the x plus 6s. We are left with just x plus 2. Divide by x minus 3. That is our solution because we cannot simplify that anymore. It's just x plus 2 divided by x minus 3. All right, let's give you a different example. <coughs> Say we have a different one like this x squared plus 2x minus 80 divided by 2x cubed minus 24x squared plus 64x. This is a big rational expression. Let's first by simplifying the numerator first. You could simplify the denominator first and then numerator. So two numbers that multiply to negative 80, but add to two, they are 10 and negative eight. Divided by, what's the greatest common factor? The greatest common factor it's not just x, but 2x. Times, we will divide. Negative 24x squared divided by 2x is a negative 12x. 64 times 2 is 8. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Not yet. Okay, I'm forgetting. So, 2x times 
Yo, 2x cubed, Bubba. 2x is x squared. Now, negative 24x divided by 2x is minus 12x. 64x divided by 2x is a 32. Now we need to simplify the bottom expression further. So we're going to have x plus 10 times x minus 8 all over simplifying x squared minus 12x plus 32 will give us Two numbers that multiply to 32, but add to negative 12. All right, I'm going to let you guys decide what two, those two numbers are. They are negative 8 and negative 4. So we're going to have 2x times x minus 8 times x minus 4. And now we can cancel with the x minus 8, giving us for a final solution x plus 10 divided by 2x times x minus 4 is our solution in the last example. Thanks for simplifying rational expressions with me, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.